Hey guys! I'm Arthur and welcome back to the Unboxing Tito. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Google Play Store on your Realme X7 Pro. My channel provides unboxing and reviews of all the hottest phones today. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out each time I upload a new video. So after all that, let's proceed with our tutorial. Hey guys! So I'm showing you my current setup with my Realme X7 Pro and as you could see, I've already downloaded the Google Play Store. So I've downloaded all the apps right here as well as the games uh, including Black Desert Mobile, Call of Duty, PUBG Mobile, Mobile Legends and the hottest game right now, League of Legends Wild Drift. I've downloaded them all directly using the Google Play Store. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the steps you need to do in order for you to download and install the Google Play Store on your Realme X7 Pro even if you are using China ROM. So I put the phone into a complete factory reset and after completing the initial setup this is what it should look like so let's get started so the first thing you should do is go to the app market which is the green icon right here click on that so click on agree and usually it has some ads but you just need to disregard them so just click on the search bar right here then type in Google Play Store. So in my case, I'm just going to click here on the search history. So after keying Google Play Store, it will show you some results. But as you could see, uh, let me browse through this search result. No Google Play Store will be found. So it will give you suggestions for Google, uh, Google Chrome, Google Maps, Google Home, and Google Earth. But no Google Play Store will be listed on the search result. So in this case, you need to download the Google Play Store using a different method. So what we need to do right now is we just have to install the Google Services app. Just click on the install button. Okay, so it's currently installing right now. So after installing the Google Services app, click on open. Then on the search bar, type in Play Store APK. Then on the search results, look for the APK Pure link. So, we just need to click on that. Then, click on Download APK. So, after downloading, just click on Install. So, installation complete. So, click on Done. So, as you could see here, the Google Services app is already installed as well as the Google Play Store. So, next, click on the Play Store. It's going to require us to sign in. So, we just need to sign in. So after signing in, let me show you some necessary apps that you need to download. First is the Gboard app or the Google Keyboard. So we just click on the install button. So let's just wait for it to install. So after downloading, click on open and click on enable in settings. So we're going to use this as our default keyboard to make typing easier. So click on activate, then select input method. So click on Gboard. Okay, we're all set. So click done. Next up is Google Messages. So just click on install. So after installing, just click on open. Then click on set default SMS app. Okay, so using the Google Messaging app is entirely optional. I suggest to install it to avoid experiencing errors when using external links sent to you via text. So that's the end of our short tutorial and I hope it helped you. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions for our next video, just hit me up in the comments down below. Thumbs is a plus, subs is a must. I'm Dan Basing Dito and I will see you next time.